Alright, let's go onwards. Yep. It's like one to two screens away. Literally. Ooh, the music is even picking up. Whatever could it mean? Volta chair. Ooh. And there we have Aline. She doesn't really look all that old. Phew, what noisy little children. See what you get. <coughs> uh, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright. Allow me the pleasure of sending you to Thanatos. Uh, major name drop there, by the way. Dialek, Aline. What have you done with him? What have I done? Well, I just sent him to the ruins in Pandora. Which is where we're probably going next. As he says, it seemed to work too well, and I couldn't handle him. But Thanatos wanted him, so I sent him there. Thanatos? The head of a secret organization that intends to overthrow the kingdom. How could you? Tee hee hee. He's already dispatched most of the people in Pandora. All that's left is for Sir Thanatos to storm the castle from the ruins. Now, won't you be so kind as to feed yourselves to my cute little spiky? And here we have... What is this? Second boss? No, third. And it is by far one of the more annoying ones. Especially because... I didn't get any armor for the chick. So, she's probably going to die a whole lot. And I didn't think about getting a bunch of couple wishes either. Whoops! And this is why the boss is extremely annoying. Because it jumps up there a lot. Oh, this is not going to be good. Well, this is pretty much just going to be me <laughs> doing things. Ugh. I want the bow. That's a cool animation that they have whenever you have to switch between the two. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dash it. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Somewhat uh, anticlimactic, but whatever. Yeah, this is spiky. Ah, uh, no. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just sit here. Right. No big deal. Usually, by the way, I don't have this much trouble. But, uh, gosh dang. Alright, things that are really annoying about this boss, by the way. One, obviously, is uh, him jumping up on the side little things. Another thing is the ball thing like that and getting knocked unconscious. Uh, while you're unconscious, you can't, like, actually do anything. Oh, now. Uh, it is time for one of these. Uh, he can also do magic, which he hasn't actually done yet. I'm kinda surprised. So usually he can cast it like a whole bunch. Oop. Where's he going? Oh, I don't. That's that's just dumb. I don't. I don't see how the hell he hits me from up about there. Now. Okay, I am not doing very well this boss fight. Ugh, that's dang. Up. Oh. There we go. Uh, if people are dead, I'm fairly certain they still get experience for stuff. The only thing they might not get experience for is, like, their weapons, possibly. Way to go, and everything's fully healed, which is super nice. I'm going to upgrade the boomerang. Victory music. Aw, oh, yeah. So now we exit, because we couldn't before for whatever reason. I gotta talk to Aline before we go. Shriek! Please forgive me. Sorry, the magical herbs that grow in this forest have withered. I have been treating the villagers for Thanatos' herbs. From now on, I'll simply be a normal old lady, or elderly lady, and live peacefully. If you're looking for the other kid, he's at the ruins, South Pandora. 
can take what's in the treasure chests. I don't need it anymore. The orb in the underground palace. You need to use the magic of ice. But I don't have any more magical power left. Somehow these magically spawn. Found the whip. So now we can use the shortcut. And we get some gold. I believe uh, if you missed, I think it, it, there's somehow you like miss something. You can actually get like uh, it's a weapons orb or something. If I remember correctly, uh, if you like miss it somehow, you can pick it up in that chest. But I don't remember like what exactly. And I'm pretty sure if you go down there, like all the guys are gone, but uh, Nico, I think, is still there. And I want to switch to a. Oh, you know what? Sure. Switch to that. Uh, oop. Yeah, whatever. Uh, give that to them. There we go. Mm hmm. It is fairly nice too that there's like no enemies left. Makes trekking back a lot easier, but I think there's still enemies here. Nope, nope. Dialect is alive! Seth, can you hear me? Come immediately to the water palace. It's Luca. Now what's the matter? I've gotta go. I'm going to. I'm worried about Dialect, but it, I can't save him alone. I'll go with you in return. You can help rescue Dialect. Yippee! I'm coming along. You can't. You can count on me. Alrighty. I guess there aren't enemies here. But I think if you exit and come back, they show up. At least I, I feel like that's a thing. So, but we don't have any reason to come back. And now we just gotta make our way through here. Whip is insanely nice ranged weapon. I need something to cut. Oh, no! Freaking A. <sighs> oh, there we go. Stop it. Sword is so good. So good. So, and the whole issue back at the uh, water palace is our first instance of being able to get some magic. Ooh. It's probably either a trap or a medical herb. Oh, it's a bomb. Oh, I missed. Still missed. Bam. Yeah, screw it. Alright, let's just switch to her. Everyone lines up. That's kind of just a contact sensitive thing. If you just step up and you have a whip equipped, everyone will just automatically group up. So we walk through here. And Shazam! Right underneath the water palace. How fortuitous. So, come up and. Oh, okay, there's nothing there. Ooh, temple music. Alright, really, when I said, like, a lot of music isn't really shared, I think this is pretty much a standard, like, temple, uh, like, palace kind of things. I'll restore you. Want to save the game? Yes. Undine, the water, the elemental of water, lives in a cave behind a waterfall. It's east of the steps leading to this place. You've got to help find her. Her seal on this palace has failed, and I fear she is in great danger. <coughs> Undine, Undine. Tomato, tomato, probably. 
the water element blah, blah, blah. water elemental is pretty nice uh, my favorite one is the earth elemental though I just I just love the design of the character plus it's more of one of my uh, favorite elements so yeah these are ifish kind I think supposed to be playing off of like ifrit though I don't know if Ifrit actually has anything to do with water. Uh, we're also about to come up on... It's kind of a mini-boss. Because, I mean, it's not like we can just get magic for, like, absolutely free. No, we, we gotta have some sort of conflict. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can fit it in. This is probably all right. This isn't what it turns into. Is a super, super annoying uh, enemy type. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is, of course, beefed up than the more normal version of this. Or it could just be this is this becomes more of a normal enemy type later on. Tonbull. Yeah. Uh, this comes more of a normal type earlier, on, uh, later on, but uh, right now this thing's like super difficult. Oh, this is why this thing's annoying, because it will just eat you and deal lots of damage like that. And uh, yeah, there's no real way to like dodge a lot uh, when it starts. Yeah. When it's like looking around like that, it's trying to heal itself typically. Uh, well, it's not that bad that it eats me because, oh my goodness, really? Yeah, the only. I can't even move. It's how ridiculous that is. What? Alright, if I die, I'm gonna be severely pissed. Alright. I am using that. So I'm nearly dead. Pure water level three. Wow. No. <laughs> yeah, and the only way of getting out of that, by the way, is uh, hitting it. What? Oh no. I'm serious. I don't typically have this much trouble. Biting lizard. Okay. Not really much of a biting lizard. Stop healing yourself. Just die. Really? Just, just die. Just go away. Stop being a problem. Stop being a nuisance. N nuisance. What? This thing's got to be almost dead. There we go. Got gloves over. And it fades away into nothingness. And we get mystery music. And here's Undine. Undine. Thank you. I am Undine. My power is your, is your reward. I'll give you two kinds of magic. Dawn can use my recovery magic and defense magic. Autumn can use my battle magic. And then our main character is Super Jelly. And me? Your mana sword will one day become more powerful than any magic, which is absolute bullcrap. You can receive an elemental's power such as Ice Saber on your sword.
Don can cast Ice Saber on your weapon to turn enemies into snowmen. And this, take this with you. It is one of the mana weapons. See, full dart. Call me anytime. Yay. No one can stop me now. Alrighty. So with that, we shall end the part. And uh, we'll be making our way to Pandora. But we'll probably... Uh, yeah, Pandora. So see you in the next part.